Medic! Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, 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 Right, so, uh, sorry that you've seen a lot of me at the moment. I do apologise. I'm going to be taking a break. I just wanted to do this. I just had an idea. And I'm gonna, I am going to take a little break. Because uh, <laughs> i got a lot on me, on me plate at the moment. So, I just want to focus on other stuff a little bit. Anyhow, uh, in a recent video, when I was doing my... Uh, me uh, top eight or whatever it was camping meals I said I just said it doesn't matter whether it's a steak or whether it's a like a deep fried Cadbury's cream egg since I said it then someone commented made a comment about it and then I've been thinking about it and I thought is it doable can I do it can I deep fry a, a Cadbury's cream egg in woods sure these have got a lot smaller or maybe I've got bigger, either, either, either. A cream egg, mate. Also got a Snickers. Because when I thought about the practical, that's just full of like creamy sugar. This has got nugget in it and nuts, so it'll help it hold together and might create a better sort of dessert. But I thought I'd do it. It's something fun that you can do with your kids out in the woods. Um, I know desserts often get overlooked. So I'm going to be a guinea pig <laughs> and I'm going to trial this to see if I can have a heart attack with a deep fried snicker and deep fried Cadbury's cream egg. <laughs> Let's get it on. I'll have to get a fire going. Right. I'm sorry, it's birch bark as well. If you don't know, now you know. Uh -uh. That's how it is. That's just how it is. Uh. I've not done a proper video on this yet, I'm waiting, I'm biding my time because I know YouTube doesn't like us to talk about um, bushcraft tools. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, it's a bit dutty. She's a bit dutty, but you see that? Field master. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Shout out Mark, I think it's your name's Mark, but shout out the dude who hooked me up. Such a good knife. So good. Right, I've been at work uh, and it's been quite physical, physically demanding, but can't grumble, cannot and must not grumble. At least it's not freezing cold on digits anymore. We're out of that phase, so hallelujah. Well, we're not out of that phase actually, it's just coming up to February, so it might get worse. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly get this fire going. If you want to watch me uh, gather around, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Right, let's just see in real time how quick we can do this. There we go. It didn't take long, did it? Didn't take long at all. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Oil. 
Right on. Bit of chaga I got last year. And I'm gonna do a beer batter, not just any old beer. The king of beers, Novan Mank. Lovely woodland this. Um, Loads of silver birch in it. That's why I've been using silver birch. There's loads of silver birch in it. And it's a new woodland to me, just exploring it. And loads of rhododendrons, so. You know, come early, early summer, it's gonna be beautiful in here. Right, just a bit of flour. I'm like, not, don't want a big batter. Oh, he says, he says with a big clump coming out. Do you want to come and see? <laughs> oh my god, that smells so good. I'm not drinking at the moment. I'm doing. Uh... Woohoo! Cool. Just doing a bit of a dry spell. Dry February, I think I might do. Thicken her up a little bit, I think. Gone too far out of the way. <laughs> That'll do. I'm not one for following recipes or, or whatever. I just do it till it looks right, feels right. You know, it's uh, I've done, done plenty of done plenty of cooking in my day. So you'd want it just to coat the back of a spoon, but we'll say just coat the back of this stick. See, I think that's good, man. That's a good batter, that. <laughs> I'm excited, are you? Yeah! Need some in there just to let us know when it's gonna when it's when the oil's ready. So I'll just drop a little bit of batter in. Whoop! Oh. Hey, up! Oh. Hey, that's doing a bit. That I think it's ready. It's ready to go in. <laughs> what should we go with first? Should we go with Cadbury's cream egg or should we go with Snickers? I think we'll go with Snickers because that's got, I reckon that's got potential to to burst everywhere. Should we go both at the same time? Yeah, we'll go both. That's what we'll do. We're not here to muck, we're not here to muck about. We're here to cook sweets in wood. <laughs> Ow. Right, mate, that, look at that little scraplet. That looks good. Right, let's get you, you want to have a look, don't you? So let's get you down here, mate. Right, I'm going in. Going in with Snickers, because that's what, I think that's going to be the best. The best of the, of the two, I'd imagine. Cadbury's cream egg, mate. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had one of them youths. Coat your stuff in flour. Well, you want to wet it first. Top tips, here we go. So, just a little bit of water on your egg and your snicker. I mean, it sounds weird me even saying that, doesn't it? A little bit of water on there, and then into your flour. Hey, do you what? This will just help the batter to, to stick to it, right? And then into the... <laughs> into the batter. Are you ready? Nice and gentle. <laughs> Okay, it is weird, yes, I know. And cream egg, in she goes. Woo! Oh, they've stuck to each other. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Right, I've separated them. <laughs> Go on, my beauties. What you don't want to do is burn them. You don't want to burn them and then have it raw in the middle, so not too, too fierce. It's hard to regulate heats when you when you're cooking on a bush box. Oh, 
Oh, mate, look at the light coming through there. Can you? I don't know if you can pick it up on this thing, mate. You can't. It's a lot more. It's a lot more beautiful in real life, mate. This is looking good. <laughs> We're revolutionising it with the uh, revolutionising the campfire cooking game right now. If this works, it's going to be amazing. But it's going to be one of them things that you can only ever have it like one, twice a year because it's going to be an absolute heart attack, isn't it? Deep fried, beer battered sweets. <laughs> That's. I mean, it sounds good on paper, doesn't it? If we're if we're honest. But that's the real deal. Look at that, mate. And there's my egg. In it. There you go. This is what I call a productive day. Doing all my landscaping jobs. And now I'm deep frying Cadbury's cream egg. In. Oh, is that stuff leaking out of it? Look, it's got a bit, there's a bits of blackness on there. I thought that might happen with that one. I thought it might happen with Cadbury's cream egg. That's what I don't want, is for them to burst open. I mean, that looks about cooked, doesn't it? Look at that. That looks... It looks tidy, mate. It looks really good. Right. I think they're ready to come out. Look at that. Don't tell me that doesn't look nice. Look. <laughs> it's working, mate. Right, they're ready to come out. It needs to cool down because you need to take your oil home with you. Ow, 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 that's hot as you like. Oh. And Cadbury's cream egg, which is definitely going to be hot. Oh, voila, look at that. Look at that, mate. That is good. Right, brew. Brew's just done in me, uh, me little homemade northern monk. Um, penny stove but look at that oh. and I've dusted it with a little bit of a uh, little bit of cat. Ah. anyway talk to me alright let's have a they've turned out pretty well to be fair look I'm going to try the Snickers first. Without further ado. Oh, it smells good. Is this going to scoil me? No, it's all right. Ice and crunchy. Wow, that is decadent. Ant and decadent. Yeah. What's that, you ask? Just a deep fried Cadbury's cream egg, mate. In woods, that's all. And this was the min. Oh, it smells, hmm. It smells good. Let's go in. Ah. Really hot, like molten lava but really sweet oh my god yeah mate look at that huh? look at that it's like Willy Wonka's just shot his <laughs> dirty boy we having that look mmm <laughs> That's well nice. That's the nicest one. Wow. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> I thought the Cadbury's cream egg would be a bit, a bit sickly, but 
That was the best one. <laughs> that really worked. Mmm. <laughs> Excellent. Mmm. Right, I won't need to eat now for the next three months because that is a lot of calories, a lot of sugar. <laughs> so it's not good for your ketosis. It reminds me of like um, a sweet crepe. <laughs> it looks like a crap in the middle of it, but. Mmm, right, that was delicious. I'm gonna wait till my oil cools down so I can pour it back in the container and take it out of the woods, clean down my bush box. Because, I've got some dry leaves over it, right? Because I was using the stove and, um, and I had it on my windshield as well, there's no scorch marks whatsoever, so. It's, qu it's pretty easy. Before my battery goes, I, I didn't think that that would be as good as it was, but it was absolutely delicious. And I recommend it for anyone who's, if you've got a couple of hours to kill in the woods and you want to bring your kids out and do something fun or do something fun at home around the campfire or even on the stove, that is just a lovely little treat. Oh, it's not healthy, so don't get, don't make a habit of it unless you want a set of these. Um, but yeah, delicious as a little, as a little one-off treat. So yeah, I was recently on a podcast. Uh, my mate Matt, he's been on the channel a couple of times. Russell Brand's partner for a while, like comedy partner, and they did a radio show and a podcast, and um, he's done a lot of writing for different comedians. Um, and he's started his own podcast, and I'd love it if you could all go and have a listen and just support him. Not just because I'm on it, but because he's a funny, like intrinsically funny man, and he's a good kid. Uh, he had, he's only had four guests on, First one was Noel Gallagher, and then a couple of other comedians from, from down London way, and then your boy, the only non-famous person on his podcast. And hopefully we're gonna do another one from the woods, live from the woods, bush casting. Right, anyway, my battery's going now, so. Uh... <sighs> Namaste, take care, bye. Yeah, this one's for all you walk back to camera fans. <laughs> Later.